Hey guys, it's i Nate Dunning Films, back again for another video. By the time you see this, my last video from last Monday, the uh, Horror Room Collection update video, will be deleted. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I filmed this massive 41-minute Halloween physical media collection overview video, and uh, I got that down to about 33 minutes editing, and once I exported that to the laptop, the video, unfortunately, was not able to be uploaded to YouTube. Something went wrong, and it messed up the frame rate. Uh, the audio was, like, perfect, but I would glitch and, and lag, and it, I don't know what happened. Now, I did say in the last video, again, now deleted, that I would go back and re-edit this video. However, I'm actually going to scrap it completely and refilm it. So, although I did promise a Halloween-themed video in general, it's a Blu-ray update, nothing Halloween-related, I will be going back and refilming that. Also, of course, Halloween Ends trailer drops Wednesday, which I will be doing a reaction video too. So not only are you guys gonna get something Monday anyway, you know, Thursday or so, I'll have a reaction video to the Halloween Ends trailer. So I cannot wait for that. So definitely some plenty of Halloween content coming soon for all my uh, big Halloween fans. Uh, including, of course, myself, I'm a huge Halloween fan, so you guys get to look forward to that. All right, so let's move on. I'm actually going to show both of these kind of at the same time. But uh, first up here, we have Scream Factory's 4K of Escape from New York with slipcase, by the way. Of course, an Amazon purchase, so glad to get the slip. You don't always get the slip on Amazon, that's for sure. Uh, next up here from Paramount is the 4K of Escape from LA. I did watch both. Now, I've never owned at all, in any media, in any way, shape, or form, have I ever owned Escape from LA. I used to watch it on TV, and I remember DVR'd it one time, and uh, that's actually how I first watched the film, was actually on TV. Uh, I, I enjoyed the transfer, it looked pretty good. Again, I have nothing really to compare it to. Um, now, Escape from New York, this is one of those things where I owned the DVD at one point, and I ended up selling off the DVD, didn't own the film for the longest time, and a couple of years ago, Scream Factory put out a steelbook. For anyone wanting to upgrade uh, Escape from New York, go right ahead. It's well worth it. Highly do recommend that you upgrade to the actual 4K. Even with that 4K scan steelbook, which looked great, um, you know, for what it was, that blows it away. Uh, next up here, again, is another 4K. This was just a simple upgrade. Uh, the uh, Shining sequel, uh, Dr. Sleep. Now these are all standard 1080 Blu-rays. Um, I, I guess I should say had it at this point. I had this big Amazon list of slasher films and horror films that I really wanted, that I really wanted to see. Most of them were first time watches. And uh, I can officially say that um, I, ha I do not no longer have anything in that wish list, in that, in that, um, in that uh, list on Amazon because I've purchased everything. So, so we're gonna first start out here with Blood Diner, which was one of the strangest movies I have ever seen. This is easily within my top three. You know, uh, let me know what you guys think about this film. This was definitely a really strange film. Uh, one of those that it's like, I think it is so bad it's good. You know, it's definitely one of those kind of movies. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, again, definitely a pretty strange movie. Next up here is one that I actually had a really fun time with. It's not really a, a hack and slash kind of film, but there's three or four death scenes. Pretty uh, pretty gory, I think. Uh, cutting Class. This is from Vinegar Syndrome. Now, I actually, again, happen to uh, to really like this one. And I, I, if I'm not mistaken, that's uh, Jill Sholin. She was in the movie Popcorn, um, which again is one of those I think I've seen on Shudder. I may be wrong, but I, I think I've seen that actually on a streaming app. But yeah, that's uh, Cutting Class. Again, I kind of would recommend you guys check that one out. Now, a, a couple Blu-ray updates ago, you might have noticed, you might have remembered this, but I ended up getting Arrow Video's release of Edge of the Axe, which was made by a Spanish director, um, Jose Larraz. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I'm totally butchering it. But uh, he also did one of his last films, I think it is his last film, was Deadly Manor. So because I liked Edge of the Axe, I had to check this one out. Personally, I liked Edge of the Axe. I thought it was actually really well done. I actually prefer Deadly Manor over Edge of the Axe. Still a great film, but I actually do prefer Deadly Manor. Next up here is one, actually the only one out of here that I've not seen yet, but I will be popping this in as soon as I'm 
finished uh, filming this video. That is the dorm that dripped blood. Yeah, this is one that's been on my radar for quite some time. I've been needing to pick it up for years. And um, I think this release was 2011, so you can imagine. I wasn't even collecting Blu-ray at that point, but uh, this is one I've been needing in general just to check, you know, just to check out as a movie. Um, that is The Dorm That Dripped Blood. Again, from what I know, this is like literally the unrated, uncensored director's cut of the film, which prior to this Blu-ray was not even available uh, in its complete uncut form. And even then, if you can find it uncut, it was not the complete uncut. This is apparently like, you know, the um, completely uncut as intended version. And last but not least here, I was surprised also to get Slip from Amazon. But uh, that is Tales from the Dark Side of the Movie. Now this was actually a an upgrade from the DVD. So believe it or not, I still had this film on DVD. And let me say, this is actually a really great transfer from uh, Scream Factory. I don't think they used any kind of new scan, um, but to me this still looked pretty good. Again, that is an upgrade from the DVD. So that is Tales from the Dark Side of the Movie. And that's it. Like I said, these were all from the very last of an Amazon list that I had of mostly slasher films, horror films that I've, I've wanted to add to the collection, that I've wanted to see, Blu-rays I've needed. I've wiped it clean. So uh, outside of a couple of pre-orders from 4Ks, I can definitely tell you that 2022 was the end of collecting. So I don't know how many more Blu-ray updates really I can do with nothing to buy, nothing. Again, everything is mostly upgrades at this point. Actually, everything is upgrades. Again, there's nothing even in this list. So with that being said, guys, uh, that is my Blu-ray update. Again, check me out sometime later in the week for my Halloween Ends trailer reaction. And probably next Monday after that, I'll be going through and doing uh, this Halloween physical media collection overview video. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.